We're gonna get set here. Friday, nice and warm today. Let's go ahead and open things up, get moving. A little rotation. As I mentioned earlier, um, I will be showing you guys, I will show you options, different um, options for movements, um, low impact versus a higher impact, and sometimes somewhere in the middle. Um, I will show you the higher impact option today. I will be going into a little bit of, um, low, probably doing a lot of lower impact stuff today, just because my knee is bruised. <laughs> Big reaches here. Good, let's go next side, center side. Good, chin to track into the sky. Good, and over the right shoulder and left, try to keep your chest straight ahead. Just move it through that neck. Good, let's shrug it up and squeeze it back and down. Shrug and squeeze. Good. Let's give that arm a forward circle, big circle here. And reverse it. Good. Let's go other arm here. Big forward circles. Good. And back. Good, and let's go ahead and stretch that quad out, grab and hold. You could also go to a wall, put your foot up on the wall. If you need to grab something for balance, do that. About three seconds, switch sides. Now we will have, um, woo, find your balance. <laughs> um, we will have different movements where we will be required to be on the floor. Um, always an option for you is if you don't want to be down on the ground, if it's uncomfortable for any reason or if you just want to take it down a notch, you could do um, your planks, your push-ups from an elevated surface, such as your coffee table, the back of your couch, even your counter. Let's go one more here. Good, we're gonna cross the legs over, into the hips. Big breath in here, exhale, and then switch sides. Good, take that breath at the bottom and switch inside. Go one more here. Good, we're going to walk this, uh, we're going to hinge in our hips. Nice stretch in those hammies here. Really push your hips back behind you. As you reach for the ground, walk it out. We're gonna go right hand on the out foot, outside of the right, uh, right foot on the outside of the right hand. We're gonna reach and open, and then we're gonna switch sides. Left foot, reach, open, and switch. You're gonna put your foot wherever is comfortable for you based on your mobility. An option here, So bring the bring that back knee to the ground if you if you need to. Good. Let's go one more each side. We're really reaching. Squeeze those shoulder blades together here. Open. Last one here. Reach and open. Nice. We're gonna take it from here. We're gonna go into downward dog. We're gonna soften the knees. Nice flat back. And then let's go ahead and walk that heel out one at a time. Stretching through the calf. <clears throat> Good, and let's go ahead and walk those hands back towards the toes, keeping your legs as straight as you can. I'm gonna round up nice and slow through that spine. Good, we're gonna go into a knee hug to a hinge. All right, knee pull to a hinge. Looks like this, whoa, balance is a little wobbly today. Go ahead and push that hip back. Keep that chest up. You don't want to round through the spine here. So pull the knee, go into what's called, call this a single leg RDL. Keeping that chest proud. 
Good. So we'll reach that. Last one here. Good. I'm going to kind of widen our feet out. I'm going to shift side to side here. Push that knee. And you want that knee and ankle and hip in alignment. Go to the other side. Keep that chest high. Try not to rotate. Couple more here. Nice. Bring those feet in. We're going to squat down to a comfortable range for our bodies. See what they're telling us today. And then we're going to grab our toes and hike our hips up, stretch the hamstring. So crack squat here. Push the knees out with your elbows, chest up. Feet together, our feet toes forward. Hamstring stretch. So a few more here. Nice. We're gonna go into punchers, alternating sides. Try to come up on that. Follow the foot if you can. Our first circuit, we're gonna be going into the Tabata move. 20 seconds on, 10 reps. We'll go four rounds. We have three different moves. We go a couple more here. Nice. All right, I'm gonna have you go here, squat and open. You're gonna alternate sides. All right, keep doing that. And I'm gonna show you the first move of our Tabata. So keep doing your squat, opening up your hips. Your first move of your Tabata, you can grab your water bottle or weights if you have weights. You're gonna go into a jack, clean and press. All right. Keep doing your hip openers though. And then we're gonna go into squat, or here's an option here for that squat, clean and press, if you don't want to jack. All right, let's go to leg swing, swings right here. All right, second to bottom move. You guys are doing this, all right? Just stay in balance. The second move, keep going, is gonna be a jack switch, which is a squat down. You're gonna jump up. Switch the hips. Come to center, jump up, switch the hips. All right, that's what our second move is going to be like. Change legs. Go to that other leg here as you're swinging. And then low impact on that, that jack switch or that jump switch is going to be pivot and squat. Pivot and squat. All right, let's go into regular jacks here. And low impact is right here. I'll show you our third to bottom move while you're keeping those jacks going. You're gonna be going into a plank jack. So, options here, 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 or you can jack, tap, jack, tap, and then speed it up. All right, so a few options there. Remember, keep going jumping jacks. You can go here as well from an elevated surface. All right, let's go to high knees. Low impact right here. Good. All right. First move of Tabata. Jack, clean and press. Option with your water bottle. Option with your weights. It's going to look like this. Or, remember, step, clean and press. Step, clean and press. All right, we're going to about 20 seconds on, 10 second rest. We're gonna get our breathing heavy. All right, first move. Three, two, let's go. Feet are out, jump up, clean your water bottle or your weights to a press. Remember your option, squat. Make sure your hips and shoulders are level here. Clean and press. Keep going. Remember, 
If you can kick it up, kick it up. Time here, nice move or nice work. Second move, jump, switch, squat, jump up and switch those hips. Get ready. Let's go. Jump, turn the hips. Squat down, jump, turn. Squat down, jump, turn. Low impact, pivot, squat, pivot, squat, pushing those knees out. You're close. Time here, nice work. Going down into plank jacks. Have your options. You can be here, you can walk it out, or you can tap and switch. Alternating those hands. Let's go. Remember, keep going. You can go from an elevated surface too, if you want. Keep driving. Jack those feet out as you touch that, that opposite arm. Time here. Those are your three. We get to perfect them now. Round two coming up. Here we go. Jack clean press. Yeah. Heart rate. You just kind of ripped off the band-aid. Remember your options. Squat. Clean and press. Push those hips back. Keep weight in your heels. Chest stays up here. Nice work. Take it into your jack. Sorry, your switches here, switches. Jump switch, jump switch. Working on speed here as you get the movement down. Squat, jump switch. You're gonna jump rotate, jump rotate, jump rotate. Option pivot squat. Woo! It's really hard to talk and do this. Something you guys' heart rate's getting up there. Nice, time here. Jack, plank jack. Option, you can jump the feet out, tap those opposite arm, opposite shoulder. Let's go. Nice tight core here. Remember your, you can go to the inclined surface. You can just jack the feet out and in, or you can tap one foot out, tap the other, you have options. Nice rest. Count three. Get ready, not a lot of rest in between. Three, two, one, jack press. Coming up. Feet come together as that weight or load comes overhead. You can do this with one dumbbell. You can do it with two dumbbells. Option here. Woo. Nice. We're going to jump switches. Squat down, rotate, make it quick. We're going for speed here. Ready, let's go. Shoulders stay pretty much forward. You're rotating from the rib cage. Keep going here, remember your option. Squat, pivot. 10 seconds or five seconds. Time here. Go to those plank jacks. Whatever variation is going to work for you. Three, two, one. You can be here, keeping that core tight. Rib cage and pelvis connected. You can jack and touch, jack and touch. Or you can make it more uh, faster. Jack and touch. You're close. Time here. Nice work. One more round. Get ready. Three, two, one. Squat jack press. Clean and press. Whip those weights up quick. Chest stays up. Booty goes back. Option here. Clean up those weights. Nice time. Jump switches. Already, it's hot up in here, guys. Three, two, one, squat, jump up, rotate, rotate the hips. Remember your option, pivot, squat, pivot, squat. You want your toes, knees, and shoulders all facing forward as you squat. 
Nice. Rest here 10 seconds. Plank jacks with taps. Whatever variation works for you. Give you lots to choose from. Let's go. Tap. Jack the feet out. Tap the shoulder. Nice work. Working on shoulder stability here as you tap. Time. Get some water. Ooh. Nice work. Already got the sweat going. How you guys looking? A little sweaty yet? Not my garage. No AC in here. Just a fan. All right. Next circuit. Gonna bring it down a little bit. Gonna be working on stability and strength. Thank goodness, right? Um, we're working 20 seconds on. Then we have a quick transition to move two. And then we'll be working 20 seconds um, in that second move. So little transitions. We got four exercises. Um, if you have a band or a weight, um, we would be, we'll be using those there. You can also use your water bottle and you, um, as well. So our first uh, exercise, 20 seconds, we're gonna hinge at the hips. We're gonna have a nice straight spine here. We're gonna bring our thumbs up and then we're gonna drive those elbows back. Squeeze the lats here, squeeze the back, 20 seconds. Then we go to the ground and we're gonna go into Superman push up, right? So pull, get that back engaged, tighten the core, push up. You can also push up from your knees or you can push up from your bench, it's up to you. Then your second move, with your weight or your band, you'll go single leg, RDL. Let's keep it a nice connected back here. Don't drop the chest. Look at a spot out in front of you. Don't look at your feet, otherwise you're gonna round. And you're going to do single leg RDL. And then the next 20 seconds, you're gonna add, wow, a row at the bottom. All right, hinge, turn this glute on, nice connected core, chest is upright, back's not rounded. We'll go right leg, then we'll go left. And then the last move, we'll be on our backs. Tuck our tailbone under, nice flat sinker, squeeze up. We're gonna, I'm gonna push my hands and my elbows into the ground here. I'm gonna go into marches. And then second part of that, we're gonna go into glute extensions from a plank. Notice I'm not driving the leg up too much. It's just a tiny little glute squeeze. So I'm not letting my rib cage drop or my lower back flex. All right, here we go. Top of the circuit. We're gonna go into the bent over row followed by the push-ups. All right, actually it's a lat pull. Here we go, hinge at the hips, elbows, uh, elbows up, I'm sorry, thumbs up high, squeeze. Don't let those arms drop, don't let the chest drop. Think about squeezing between the shoulder blades, lower part of the shoulder blades. If you have light weights, you can use them here. Nice, we're gonna take it to the ground, and we have that same pull Squeezing the core, squeezing the glutes. Then do a push up. When you're there, let's go. Squeeze it down, pull and push. Reach, squeeze, push. Remember your options from the knees here. Nice, on your feet. Go into that single leg RDL. The first 20 seconds, we'll just RDL. The second 20 seconds, we'll just, we'll do an RDL with a row. Get ready. Five seconds. Here's what it looks like with the band. Opposite our um, opposite foot, opposite leg. Okay, let's go here. Hinge. Remember, you can have a weight. You can use your water bottle. Working 20 seconds right here, keeping that chest proud, that whole back working, right? All those spinal muscles are on. Now you're gonna add a row. Come down at the bottom. Find your balance, row, come up. Really think about squeezing that glute of that leg that's on the ground as you come up. Wobbly today. Woo. Slowing it down here. Nice work, keep going. 
and time. All right, 20 seconds. Get a sip of water if you need it. I'm gonna go to the other leg now. I'll do a weight. I'll show you my water bottle. I've got four pounds here. Five seconds to go time. Remember, hinging through the hip, keeping all those spinal erectors on, and then I'm using that left glute to really pull myself up into position. Let's do it. Just working on that balance and that hinge right now. Now, if you're having a hard time stabilizing today, like me, you can put that back toe on the ground for a little support. Still moving through that left leg here. All right, let's add our row. So it's row at the bottom and squeeze up. Remember your option for balance. Row at the bottom. Squeeze that glute up. You're almost there. Time, nice work. We're gonna go into our glute bridge marches, followed up by our plank glute extension. So we're doing one move 20 seconds, and then we're kind of changing up that move the next 20. So we're working 40 seconds total, 20 seconds rest. All right, here we go, toes up. Lower back pushed into the ground. I want you to drive those arms into the ground, squeeze your glutes up, and march here. Trying to keep your hips level. You don't want a lot of shift and dropping from side to side. So guess what? Your core is coming in there to kind of help keep that connection between your rib cage and your pelvis. It does help to push those elbows into the ground. Nice, we're gonna flip it over into plank. And we're gonna go into glute extension. Again, nice tight core. Don't let your lower back drop here. I want you to squeeze, pull that belly button in towards the spine. And little squeezes, tapping those, getting those glutes activated. Tiny little squeeze. Nice work. 20 seconds rest. Maybe give you 30. If you need to get equipment that you don't have, you can. If you need to fill your water bottle right here to make it a little heavier, you can. Some great options for uh, weights are um, like detergent bottles, like your uh, uh, clothes detergent or your fabric softener. All right. Gonna hit, uh, we're gonna hit that uh, bent over pull here. Going right into the push-up. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Squeeze those shoulders up and now squeeze lower part of those shoulder blades. Keep the chest up here. Nice tight core. If you have light weights, you can use them. You just want to keep those arms up high. Don't let them drop here. Right? Check in. Thumbs up as high as you can get them. Nice. We're taking it to the ground. We're going to add a push up now. So thumbs are up. Pull. Squeeze everything tight. Push. Pull and push. Glutes are on. Quads are on. Everything from your rib cage to your pelvis is connected. Your body's aboard here. Woo! Time here on your feet. 20 seconds. Single leg RDL. Be working right leg. This is my wobbler side. There's always one, right? We'll go in five seconds. Again, hinge it at the hip. Keep it a nice proud chest here. Here we go, guys. Just go working on that hinge. Find your balance. Make sure that glute, you're using it right here to pull you up. If you find your foot or your knees falling in, try to keep your load on your heel and your outside of your foot. Let's add our row at the bottom. Now it's gonna require a little more time under tension at the bottom range here. Woo! Keep going. Give me front view. Notice this foot really wants to fall in. I'm gonna fight it. I'm gonna row at the bottom. Come up. Nice work. We're gonna switch legs. So my right leg, <laughs> left knee hurts, right leg's a little weaker. So as you're going down, if you find that you're falling in, really think about pushing out, activating that glute, and maybe just loading up the side of your foot and heel. All right, here we go. Work on that RDL. Woo. Keep that chest up. Don't look at your feet. Look at a spot out in front of you. Good. 
Remember your option here. Bring that back foot to the ground. Just the toes, just to give you a little bit of stability. Good. Now you're going to take it down. You're going to row. Keep that elbow close into your side. Work on squeezing that back. You got 10 seconds here. Wow. There you go. Five seconds. Focus in on that movement. Time here. Nice work. We're going to go into our glute bridge now, our marches. And then we end it with our plank glute extension. All right? So, heels back, toes up, lower back to the ground. Drive those elbows into the ground. Squeeze up. Let's go. Alternating sides. Keeping the glutes on. They're going to get lazy on you. Keep it connecting with them. If you need to reset, reset. If the marching isn't comfortable, just come up and down. Just focus on those glutes. Nice work. Turn it over. Right when you can, go into those plank glute extensions. It's tap and squeeze. Tap and squeeze. Think about keeping the core tight. You don't want any drop in that rib cage or the lower back here. So you don't have to kick that leg up too high at all. Woo. Good time here. Round three coming up. <clears throat> Third and final. Let's go in 10 seconds. Starting with the bent over lat pull. <clears throat> Push my hips back. Hinge it in the hips. The knees aren't coming forward here. Here we go. Squeeze it up. No, squeeze. Shoulder blades. Middle. Lower part of shoulder blades. Keep those elbows up, or those fingers up. Hands should be shoulder level. Ooh, they're going to want to drop as you get tired. Don't let them. Let's take it down. Superman to push up. So pull it, squeeze it, keep it squeezed as you push. So get your back into that push up here to stabilize those shoulder blades so they don't shrug up to your ears when you try to push up here. Time. Single leg, RDL. 20 seconds. Get a sip if you need it. Get the warm one, folks. Wow. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Pick a leg, any leg. Let's hit it. We're going to RDL. Moving through that hip. Push that foot out. Push that knee out if you need to. Just focus on that RDL, getting that glute in there. That knee will soften. You're not locking that knee out. You can push it out a little bit. Good, now let's add that row. Adding that row. Ooh, feeling that booty. Feeling that core here. Keep rowing. Nice work. Shake it out. We're gonna hit the other side now. Got about 20 seconds. Get a sip if you need it. I'm gonna lighten my weight here a minute. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Moving from right here. Moving from that hip. And then squeeze the glute up. Just try to get that glute turned on here. If you need to, put your finger on your glute. Give yourself a little external feedback. This right side of mine is really lazy. I don't know if you guys have a lazy side. This kind of helps me activate it. All right, we're going to hit the row now. So hinge, maintain a nice straight spine here, and row at the bottom. Push that knee out. Don't let that foot fall in. Work. Keep driving. Keep driving. You're close. Wow. One more good breath. And done. Nice. All right. We're moving right along here. I'm going to explain the next circuit to you. There's a lot going on. So, we're going to be working kind of a high intensity move for 20 seconds. 
Then we're going to be going into kind of a strength move for 40 seconds. And then we're going to be doing a 90 seconds, a minute and a half, or sorry, a minute and a half um, of movement. And we're going as many rounds as possible. So first move, we're going to go into a lateral, um, lateral hop, right? Now, this is kind of the low intensity version of it. Step, drive the knee up, check up my arms. All right. As you come up, you're going to, sorry, you explode it up. Out, explode up. Out, explode up. Now, it's getting a little more intense. And then, now you can just work on big sweep, big explode up. All right, 20 seconds there. Then we're gonna go lateral lunge. Pushing the hip back, clean and press. We'll stay one side 20 seconds, and then we'll switch to the other side. Then we go into our minute and a half work, which is a lunge press. Then we go into lunge jumps for four, all right? Everything's four here. And then we work into a burpee. Clean and press, all right? So you have a water bottle. You'll have your water bottle here. You can walk your burpee out, come down, come up, clean and press. All right, if you have weights, you'll just do your, you'll just grab your weights. Burpee, push up is optional. You don't have to push, clean and press for four. All right, so we'll be going a minute and a half, four moves, don't like make your brain hurt here. I'll be talking, getting you through it the whole time. Let's start 20 seconds with our lateral hop. All right, right here. That's option. Progression here. 20 seconds. High intensity. Step, jump. Step, jump. Step, jump. Whew. Good, time here. Grab your weight. If you don't have a weight, that's okay. Lateral lunge into clean and press. Lateral lunge, clean and press. Push the hip back. Switching legs, switching hands right here. Lateral lunge, clean and press. This is my knee side, so I'm not going very deep. Option here. Get your water bottle in there. You don't need heavy load. You got eight more seconds here. You're gonna hit that minute and a half work. Whew. Time here. Here we go. Four lunge and press, followed by four lunge jumps, four burpee clean and press. Remember, you can do this from your bench to your burpees. Here we go. Lunge and press. One, two, three. Four, lunge jumps right here. You don't want a lunge jump? Just do a little quick switch and lunge for four. Here we go. Burpee, clean and press for four. That's one. Come down. That's two. You can walk it out. Three. Once you get done with your four burpee, go right back to the lunge here. Lunge and press for four. Then you're gonna do your lunge jump for four. Then you go down, burpee for four. You don't need to do the push up here. Keep driving though, because you're working as many rounds as you can, four reps. Each of those moves, keep going. We got about 30 more seconds here, guys. Woo! This is where the change happens. Are you feeling it? Four of everything. Four lunge jumps. Move your option. Little quick switch. Little quick switch. Burpees from the bench. They look like this.
You always step it back. You got three more seconds. Stay with me. And time. Nice work. Giving you a rest here. We're gonna start that over with our little lateral lunge jump, which feels very choreographed. Woo Anyone else breathing heavy? Anyone? Yeah. Nice. Get a sip. Hydrate, it's warm. Ten seconds. We're doing our little lateral, lateral jump here. Let's go. In five, four, three, two. Let's go. Remember here, get those arms out as you hop. And then as you, <laughs> it's the faster you do it, the harder it is. Big jump. Big leap sideways. Big jump. Woo. Almost there. Time. Nice. Grab your weight. Lateral lunge. Clean and press. Let's do it. Drive up off that right leg if you're stepping out with the right leg. Left hand has the weight. I want you aggressively driving from that hip, shrugging that shoulder up, snapping that elbow in, and pushing up. If you don't want to push, just clean here. Nice job. Switch sides. Right to it. Nice work. Try to balance here if you can. If not, you can come together. Step together. Lots of options always. Remember, weight or water bottle. Whatever you got. Nice work. Let's go into that. Four, four, four. Here we go. Lunge and press. Take your break where you need to. Good. Four lunge jumps. You can set the weight down if you want. Burpee. Clean and press here. Woo. Remember your options. Take the push up now. You got three moves, four reps. Each move. 90 seconds. Woo. Woo. Go at your pace. You can ditch all load too. Every option, a little mini hop. You don't want to do a big explosive jump. Burpee. You don't need load. You got about 30 seconds, guys. Low impact. Walk it out. Walk it in. Come up on those tippy toes. Walk it out. Walk it in. Come up on those tippy toes. You got four of everything. Keep driving. It's hard to keep count. 10 seconds. Woo! Come on, you get to rest after this. <sighs> Time. <sighs> Catch your breath. Catch your breath. <sighs> wow, nice work you guys. We got one. More round there. Then we're going to keep the same format and change up the moves. And we're going to be a little more upper body focused on the next uh, next uh, three moves or three exercise sets. All right. <clears throat> Let's get ready. I don't know what I'm doing. We don't need to wait. Lateral jump. Here we go. Hop. Jump, hop. You can really slow it up. Otherwise, you're here. A little lower impact, a little hop. Or you don't have to hop at all. You're close. 
Time here, grab that weight, lateral lunge. Clean and press. Drive off aggressively from that leg you're stepping out with. Trying to drive into balance. If you can't balance, right there. Put the foot down. Nice. Push that hip back. Woo. Nice work, switching sides. Oh. Ten more seconds here. You got this. Drive up balance. You gotta really turn on that right glute to stabilize you at the top. Time. Here we go. Four, four, four. Reverse lunge press. Load up that front leg. Don't let that front heel lift. Whoa, nice tight core. Good. Going into your jumps. With or without the weight. Good. Going into your burpees. Four. Four is your number. Clean and press with that weight. If you want to add load here, by all means, add load. Ah. Woo. Sweating. Keep driving, people. Find your grit. Do not quit. Take a rest. Count to five if you need to. And then start from the top. Come on. Nice work. Getting close. Getting close. Remember, you can load your jumps. Load your burpees if you want. Five more seconds, come on. You can do anything for five seconds. Time. Whew. You could say goodbye to that move, those moves. We got some new ones coming up. We'll follow the same format where we are gonna be explosive the first 20 seconds with the options, of course. Then we're gonna go kind of more into a strength move and then into that four, four, four move for 90 seconds. <clears throat> Our first move, I'm gonna show you from an elevated surface first. Start with my feet close together, nice plank body. I'm gonna jack, push up. Option, you could do a little tap out if you don't want to jump. Otherwise, you're hitting the floor. You're going to go jack, push up. Option here, jack, bring the knees in, push up. Jack the feet out, bring the knees in, push up. So that's 20 seconds. Then we're going to go into water bottle or weight. You have a nice heavy weight here, use it. You're gonna go into alternating, clean and press. I'll show you front first. Push-ups back, snap the elbow in, clean and press. Drive from the floor, clean and press. Alternating sides, notice, drive those hips back. Little jump, snap the elbow in. All right, you can slow it down here if you want, clean and press. We'll go alternating, 40 seconds. Then our 90 second move, We'll go into from the floor or an elevated surface, alternating T plank for four. Then we're gonna go into a break dancer. Knees are under the hips. I'm gonna drive the elbow back, shoot this leg out, come back to center. We got four here. And then let me show you option from an elevated surface. You can go through kick, go through kick. Also, if you want to keep it on the ground, go crossover mountain climber, crossover mountain climber for four. Then our last move, we're gonna go what I call a Hellcat push-up. There's a lot of different names for these because I'm just a waterfall right now. I'm gonna start with my feet back. I'm gonna push my hips back, almost like a downward dog here, right? When my knees are bent. I'm going to explode forward into a push-up. Back and push. 
Four of these. Option, elevated surface. Same thing. Hinge back, push up. Hinge back, push up. All right? If all else fails, just push up. Let's start. 20 seconds. Jack push up. Three, two, one. Let's go. Jack those feet out. Drop the chest. Option, push up from the knees, jack the feet out and in. Push up from the knees, jack the feet out and in. Keep going here, you have 10 seconds. Come on. Three, two, time, nice work. Grab your weight, grab your water bottle. Alternating, clean and press. Explode from the ground, snap that elbow in. Shrug, snap, press. Shrug, snap, press. You got 40 seconds here. You have a heavy load, heavier dumbbell, kettlebell, use it here. Woo! Keep driving. You've got 10 on the clock. And then we go into our four, four, four. Starting with that <clears throat> alternating T-plank. Here we go. Alternating T-plank, one. Two, you can also come down to the knees if you need to. I can't really go to my knees. Last one here. Four, nice. We're going into our break dancers. Knees come forward. Drive the elbow back, squeeze the quad. One, two, remember crossover mountain climbers. Three, four, Hellcat push up. Push hips back, come forward. Four here, woo. Ugh. You have your options. You can push from the knees. Push hips back. Come to the knees. Then you start from the top. Your shoulder should be burning. T plank. Take your break. We got 90 seconds. As many rounds as you can here. All right. After the T plank, you have break dancer or crossover mountain climber. Break dancer right here. Get that hand under the shoulder. Then your push-up, your Hellcat push-up. Start with straight legs, push your hips back towards the knees, come down, drive back. Option, woo, fall on your face. <laughs> Take a breath, you can do it from the knees here too. Oh, you're close. Oh, starting with that T-plank. Break dancer, crossover mountain climbers, keep moving. Keep moving, nice work. And time. Grab some water. Whew. That was a tough one, guys. Nice work. Second round coming up. Let's hit it in 10. <clears throat> Actually, give you guys just a little more rest time. Get some water, wipe the sweat off. Jack push up. <clears throat> I'm gonna hit this from my incline today. Release this move. I'll actually do this whole circuit from this the incline surface. Get ready. You know what to do. Three. Two, one, we got 20 seconds here. Jack push. Woo. Nice tight core here, whatever you're doing. Remember, you can low impact it. You can take it to the knees for the push. You can take it to an inclined surface. Nice, grab your weight. Alternating, clean and press. Push the hips back, squat down, snap, shrug and snap the elbow in. Shrug, snap, I like to do a little hop, help drive through the floor, get that weight up there. Nice flat back here. Try not to bend at the waist. Push down, option. You can take it from an elevated surface. A little hop and drive. Keep going here. Five more seconds. Then we're gonna hit our four, four, four. 
Alternating T plank. Break dancer or crossover mountain climbers. And Hellcat push up. Let's go. Four, four, four. T plank. Stabilize through that shoulder here. Keep that hip high. Don't let your hip drop. Don't lose that connection between the lateral part of your rib cage and your pelvis. Work those obliques. Break dancers here. Drive through. You don't have to go super fast here. Nice and controlled. Drive that elbow back. Kick that leg. Hellcat push up. Start in a plank position. Drive the hips back over the knees. As you bend those knees, drive forward. Remember, everything is four reps. Then you start over from your T plank. You go elevated surface here too. T plank, break dancer, or crossover mountain climbers. And then Hellcat push up, or whatever variation of push up you want to do here. It's a good one for your triceps. Keep your elbows close into your rib cage on your push up. Don't let them flare out. You're close. You're close. Give me 10 more seconds here. Three, two, time. Water here. You guys, you got one more round. One more round here. Wipe the sweat off. Nice work. Woo! Hopefully you can find variations that work for you. I'm giving you enough. Um, if for some reason there's something that uh, doesn't quite feel right, um, send me a little uh, chat link or send me a little note via chat. And at the end of the meeting, I'll review it and uh, try to incorporate more options as, uh, as we move on through the Fridays. All right, we're ready. If you guys are waiting, let's go to that jack push up. 20 seconds here. Three, two, one. Everything you got. This is the last round. Come on, you can push yourself a little bit more than you did last time. You've got this. Jack push. 10 seconds, come on. Remember your options. Use them. Keep driving, nice work. Go into alternating. Clean and press, let's go. Right to it, 40 seconds on the clock. Not sure what that was. Woo! Shrug, snap, drive. You push from those legs here. You're gonna be able to push more load overhead because you're using that force from the ground to bring that weight up and over. Slowing it down, bring it up, bring the elbow in, press. You do what works for you here. Woo! We're so close, so close. Give me five more seconds here. Time here. All right, four, four, four. Alternating T plank. Let's go. Uh, minute and a half. As many rounds as you can. That means you have to rest for a few seconds. You rest. Getting the break dancer or your crossover mountain climber. Uh, push into the ground with that arm that's supporting you. Then we go to those Hellcat push-ups. Pushing back, coming forward. Keep those arms in, close to your sides, whatever you're doing. Coming down on my knees for this push-up, but I'm really hitting those triceps by squeezing those arms into the side. Then your T plank can be from your knee here. I can't, but you can if you need to. Really pushing in that ground. That's uh, into the ground with that arm that's stabilizing you all the way through the back of the shoulder. Woo! Come on, we're a minute in. Keep driving. We're almost there. Woo! Nice 
Nice work. Four, four, four. T plank. Break dancer or alternating mountain climber here. If you don't want to do the break dancer, and then you have your help half push up. So close. Don't give up. Get it done. Five seconds. Come on. No one's stopping. Three, two, and time. Fist bump to the screen. We're going to cool off. I'm going to stop the recording.